please subscribe mad.com and don't forget to hit the bell icon for new video notification hello everyone our today's topic is we have to find the points trisecting the join of the two points on a line so we are given with the two end points a and b and we have to find the two points that are actually trisecting the join of these two points now what the, uh, what does it mean by trisecting trisecting means that the we have to find the two points that divides the line into three parts it means points will be two and parts will be three so we have to use a formula for finding these two points c and d the coordinates of these two points and these are between a and b so they are these are dividing the line ab internally so the formula will be different for uh, if the points are between the two points and it will be uh, formula will be the same but the signs will be different if these points c and d are outside the a and b so let's start with finding the coordinates of c and let's see which formula we are going to use in order to find such points that are basically trisecting the join of two points on a line so we have a formula that is let's write it as x is equals to k1 x2 plus k2 x1 divided by k1 plus k2 so this is the formula that you have to use in for finding the x coordinate of a point that is c or d so we have to find use this uh, formula for both c and d and th just for x coordinate and what formula we have to use for finding the y coordinate let's write it y is equals to k1 y2 plus k2 y1 divided by k1 plus k2 now let's see what is k1 and k2 now as we have the two points c and d that divides the li the uh, line a and b into three parts two points divides the line into three parts so let's see how c has divided the line ab and how d has divided the line ab first of all we will see about c c has divided the line into what uh, into what ratio it divides the line into ratio let's write in the ratio 1 ratio 2 1 ratio 2 that is c has divided the line ab into 1 ratio 2 it means one part and and two parts or at one side of the c we have one part of the line and and at the other side we have two parts of the line now same is for d d has divided the line into which ratio 2 ratio 1 because on one side we have two parts of the line and on the other side we have one part of the line so i'll write here 2 ratio 1 so what is this 1 ratio 2 and 2 ratio 1 these are k1 and k2 for c we have this is k1 ratio k2 this is for c and for d this is k1 ratio k2 it means the value of k1 is 1 for c and uh, uh, the value of k2 is 2 for c and for d we have the value of k1 as 2 and k2 as 1 and x2 and x1 are the coordinates of a and b that we have to put in order to find the coordinates of c and d so let's find by putting the values in this formula as first we will find the point c the x part of point c we have k1 what is k1 k1 is 1 and what is x2 x2 is the coordinate of point b that is 6 plus what is k2 k2 is 2 and x1 is minus 1 divided by k1 plus k2 that is 1 plus 2 as total parts of the line are 3 so 1 plus 2 is 3 so if we solve it what we will get is 6 minus 2 is 4 4 by 3 so this is the x coordinate of point c then we will find the x the y coordinate of point c as k1 is 1 what is y2 y2 is the y coordinate of point b that is 2 plus k2 is 2 and what is the y1 that is the y coordinate of point a that is 4 divided by 1 plus 2 2 plus 8 that is 10 10 divided by 3 so these are the two coordinates of um, the x and y coordinates of point c so i'll write here as c has the coordinates what 4 by 3 and 10 by 3 so this is the one point that has uh, trisect the join of two uh, points a and b now we will go for the coordinates of point d that is first we will find the x coordinate as x is equals to what is k1 k1 here is this 2 so i'll write 
and what is x um, uh, what is x2 x2 is the x coordinate of point b that is 6 so k2 here we have k2 is 1 and what is x1 x1 is the x coordinate x coordinate of a that is minus 1 divided by k, k1 plus k2 k1 is 2 and k2 is 1 so what will be the x coordinate of point d 12 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 3 we will get 11 divided by 3 this is the x coordinate of point d now we will move towards the y coordinate of point d y is equals to that is k1 y2 k1 is 2 and what is y2 y2 is 2 2 is the uh, y coordinate of point b plus k2 is what k2 is 1 and k1 is uh, k2 is uh, k2 is 1 and y1 is 4 divided by 2 plus 1 what we will get is 4 plus 4 8 8 divided by 3 so the coordinates of d we will get is 11 by 3 and 8 by 3 so this is the answer that we will get after finding the coordinates of c and d so c and d basically divides the uh, uh, the point a and b into um, uh, into three parts and uh, but their ratio is different that's why we have uh, calculated them differently and one thing more here we have we will have x1 and here we will have y1 as we have mentioned that d has the coordinates x1 and y1 so that's all from today's lecture this is how you can find the points that are uh, basically uh, uh, that are basically uh, dividing the two the point two points on a line internally if they divide the point externally then the formula will have different signs so that's all from today's lecture thank you